What's going on everybody? Welcome to the Ronnie Lee Show. My new interactive talk show giving you a chance to interact with us directly during the show. Today, I got a very special guest. International music group Lightning Cloud. Hey man, I used to come up in Hollywood with them. Now they big international superstars. And of course, you all know our good DJ, DJ Give. What's up with you, dog? Got your, got your lime green on and shit. Green <laughs> on, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm like saying? Like I say, man, like, hey, you gotta, gotta have someone seeing you out there. I feel so you. So they can see what you're pushing, that keep it moving, positivity over negativity. That's what I'm doing right now, I man. I feel you, dog. You know, just trying to push that positive movement, man. You know, everything okay. out there. What's been going on with you, man? What's up with the music thing? What you, what you... What you, you know, been popping? Where's, where's your set set? <laughs> this up on Instagram. You can catch a lot of my stuff. I put link it out on Instagram a lot because I love Instagram. And uh, I'm on there like every day posting stuff with my daughter and the crew and what we do in the studio and the print shop and everything. But uh, new things is uh, writing commercials for a new thing up in Vegas and stuff like that. Uh, got working on a new spot for our web show to be at, the Vape Supply Store. That's another, okay. another new okay. thing we're going to be doing. And, uh, yeah, man, just trying to keep it moving. How's just, little mama? Yeah, she's doing good. Running the studio as usual. Okay. You know, about to kick me out of there, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm in the booth, yeah, man. You got to get, yeah, get out of here. I was like, all right, well, you know, you know what the, the bills and all that stuff, right? <laughs> Maintenance and stuff like that in the studio. If you, know how to do that you know but yeah, yeah she's gonna kick me out of there soon because she's already turning knobs and learning at a young age and I, i'm like i'm happy for her i'm really that's proud tight. of her she's that's just that's she's gonna be a young boss man yeah she is she's gonna have to be all right she's tell gonna... the tell the people where they can find you on social media man. on instagram dj give you can catch my music and stuff like that on soundcloud backslash give Look up Keep It Moving LA.com and uh, there you go. Yeah, man, get your lime green, man. Yeah, get your lime green, <laughs> all that orange, and, you know, get your little Miami Vice going, you know. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, man, that's where you can find me at. Um, like I said, Instagram, man, that's where I'm at a lot. And my Twitter followers are starting to blow up a little bit more because I link all my stuff through that. But um, I'm more on Instagram. I go on Twitter every now and then to catch up and uh, check messages and stuff like that. But Facebook, I'll be on there too. Check out my fan base page on there, DJ Give. Um, my boy DJ Herb is at as well. Hydro Thunder coming to a hood near you yeah, soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't forget Hydro about Thunder. DJ Herb. Yeah, they can't forget about the Herb. Uh, <laughs> right hand man over there standing back there. You guys will see him pretty late. Yeah, 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 cool, man. Cool. Yeah, man. How about yourself, though? Oh, I'm doing incredible, man. Uh, you heard about that tragic stuff that happened out in Ferguson, though? What happened? The first was a little seventeen-year-old guy. Oh popped. yeah, yeah, yeah. I was hearing and about all that. of a sudden they try to say, "Nah, he was a thug." Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got, that's fucked up. Yeah, I was man. reading a bunch of stuff about that too. I, I heard somebody got footage of that and stuff like that or something like that. But I don't know if it's the right. There's so much stuff going on in the world. I try to stay off Facebook literally yeah. because there's so much of that on there, and it's like it's like the news. Yeah, you know, yeah. I might as well just go get a TV and start watching that every night. You know, and be yeah, worried yeah. and all that type of stuff. But yeah. Yeah, I try to keep all that out of my head, man, because, it, yeah, it's out there, too. It sure is. You got to be aware of it, too, and I just stay clear away from anything. I stay at home. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's up. What all now, on a positive note, when we come back, we're going to be meeting with international superstars, Lightning Cloud. See y'all soon. in the shoebox do what bam boom welcome back to the Ronnie Lee show you know what I'm saying as promised we got our very special guest lightning cloud and you just saw her new little intro and now it's time to see her for herself man and MC red welcome lightning cloud come on out guys 
Hello, Tab. No C. How you been? Good. How you been? What's nice up, to sir? Meet you. Oh man, how you feeling? Oh man, I feel beautiful. Hey, good. Yeah, how's it going, man? How's it going? Long time no see. Yeah. Yeah. Good to be here. I know, man. How you been, man? Good. Be good. You know what I'm saying? We got we got the original Hollywood <laughs> squad out here. You know what I'm saying? Sure do. Yeah, man, for y'all that don't know, yeah, for y'all that don't know, no, man, <laughs> hey, me, Crystal, and DJ Give, well, DJ, he's, he's to come through, but me and Crystal, man, we was in the trenches down on Hollywood Boulevard working at Dylan's. she was a bartender, you know, so I'm type flight security, Oh yeah. you know what I mean, and all of a sudden, I wake up one morning, she an international superstar, oh. you know what I'm saying, what's up, like you know what I mean, like she woke up in a brand new Bugatti, yeah, she did, <laughs> Coming out. Bro, we already well we're sitting on about 15 tracks right now. We're sitting on this artillery that's just insane. Okay. We got production from Timberland. Okay. We got production from Felly Fell. We have uh, Send Off Ooh. from Cypress Hill on the album. Ooh. So we're just sitting on this masterpiece and we need the right marketing and the right investor or the right independent yeah, label right. behind it. That's how but it we're is. not gonna touch it. So in the meanwhile, me and her are just in the studio and we're just knocking out hit after hit. So we're doing this thing where we release a free song strictly for you guys on the first of the month. Cool. Every month. Well, download what was it? Download on what? You go to soundcloud.com okay. slash lightning club. Wow, y'all heard them. They out here doing it big. Mm -hmm. Now, I also heard y'all got a big, big event coming up, man. What's that about? Cool. Yes, we do. Uh, August 26th, actually, okay. next Tuesday. It's uh, The name of the event is called Indigenous Angels. And it's basically a benefit concert for all the indigenous angels, we call them, that are, um, you know, going through all this stuff. All the proceeds, nobody is making money from this show. Okay. So all the proceeds, people donate at the door, they go to the kids. And uh, we have amazing artists that are donating original pieces. We have hip-hop artists, we have the legendary Redbone from okay. the 70s coming through to donate okay. a set. Okay. You know? Yeah, so basically how it works is people at the door, if they want to donate $5, $10, $20, they get that many raffle tickets. Okay. They go to whatever piece they like of art, and they put the raffle tickets in the coffee cans. At the end of the night, we do a raffle, and they take that piece home, and all the money goes to the kids. That's incredible. There'll be original murals like Chicano art, Day of the Dead stuff, Native American artwork, Chiefs. beadwork, okay. Chiefs, just like insane artwork from all the best uh, art, uh, artists in Indian country. Okay. So it's you might go there just to support and buy a couple two dollar beers and you might walk away with this lip, you know a painting for your living room. I mean it's, these guys sell their paintings for thousands of dollars and they're donating it for wow. free. Okay so, so and for the viewers there that might not know tell them like what's special about this charity event that's not like every other charity event out there. We we uh We've got a responsibility to our to our fans and our supporters and our followers. You know, they, they, they look at us and they expect us not just the best music, but to do the right thing. Okay. And uh, so we got a we got a heart for our people. We got a heart for uh, for Native American people in Canada, U.S., Mexico, uh, South America. You know, this this was this was Native country. This yeah. is Indian land from from the top of Canada to the bottom of South America. It used to be all one continent. We didn't have any borders. There was no such thing as no nothing. It was just Turtle Island, and and that that's the original continent. Exactly. You know, and we were invaded. You were invaded, and and we were just colonialized. And it, it is what it is today. Yeah. So not to live in the past, but those children that you're not allowing to migrate here are the descendants of the original inhabitants of this continent. That's really so tall. what you're doing is. It's it's like it's so embarrassing to me. Like, aren't yeah. you embarrassed as a white as a white country that's supposed to love God and supposed yeah. to love everybody to turn down these children and call them illegals on their own land? 
that's like a nightmare, son. Yeah, man. And so, <laughs> and so um, my, my, our passion, uh -huh. which is the children, has crossed our pet peeve, which is racism. Yeah. And, and just all out hatred, and that caused this event to be birthed. Cool. So we, we said we're going to do something for these kids. What can we do? Oh, oh man. Yeah. Well, what can we do that can produce the most amount of money? Well, our music. Oh, snap. Well, let's make some phone calls. Cool. We called legends. We called underground hip-hop acts. And like she said, we called artists. And what was so dope is how people just donated. Yeah, a lot of people just responded within the same day. Mm. And some people we didn't get responses from. That's okay. But the ones that just responded and were so eager to... to you know, we're down for this event. It was like, oh, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. You know, support. It's it's at the end of the day, it's a humanitarian issue. It's about love for for these little kids. It's not about what color or anything. Mm -hmm. But it just so happens to touch us in that yeah, way. Yeah, but no, nah, hey, no, nah, that's that's your heritage. Like for the viewers that they might not know, you guys are full blood, like real yeah. Native American Indians. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like. That's no, that's tight though, man. You guys are throwing something for you guys' culture and bringing awareness to it. I respect that. I think that's really, really cool. Thank you. You know yeah, what I so mean? So come out and support. Yeah, and what, tell them the date again. August 26th. It's next Tuesday, so it's less than a week away. Come out. It'll make you feel good. It's at a know? it's at a club called the Airliner, and it's on Broadway in the in the city of Los Angeles. So come one, come all. It's 21 and over. And it's free. Just donate something at the door. Believe me, whatever you donate, you're gonna get in return in tickets, and there's a good chance you're gonna and walk good out. Karma. Yeah, yeah, it's it's good karma. Yeah, it's good karma. Nice oh, spot too. Nice spot. spot too. Right? It's a dope spot, man. It's Come through. That, yeah, they had the Low and Theory there. I go there a lot. I DJ there tons yeah, of times too. for the I Love LA mm -hmm. and that place. That place is really nice. Really nice. Come donate a set. Yeah, hey. I'm ah, gonna I'm gonna set it. Up. Can we get a set up? Can we get a set up? Hey, I'll go out free t-shirts too. Being from that culture, what influenced you guys into hip hop? Like, what were the influential people you guys listened to growing up in hip hop? Oh man, well, I love, love, love Lauren Hill. I think okay. she's just Pioneer. a poetess, you know, she's yeah. amazing. Um, I would say Queen Latifah is is amazing because she, like myself, has crossed over into all the different different she entertainment. Has, she's she is she's a, a dope boss. MC. She made money over yeah, she's there. A boss. Every time I hear Pizza <laughs> Hut, I mean, <laughs> every time I hear her, every time I hear it, like. <laughs> She's an MC. That's she's crazy. a writer. She writes her own stuff. She's producing now. I mean, she has literally, she has her hand in all kinds of cookie jars, and she's successful at all of them. Yeah, she you know, is, so man. Big respect. I, mean, I grew up, you know, listening yeah. to Queen Latifah. That's my era. Yeah. 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 That's right. You watch Rap City when yeah. you get home from school, you know what I'm saying? Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Red watch Rap City. What about you, Red? What's, what's your uh, influences oh. coming up? Real talk, when I was a little kid, I grew up with no dad. And my mom was a jokester, and she would tell me that my dad was Elvis Presley. No way. And so I'd watch him on TV, and I'd try to pretend I was Elvis wow. for a long time, she would bro. Say, That's why he's not here, because he's on the road. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> for a long time, until I understood the concept that he's dead. And my friends in seventh, eighth grade were like, "Yo, yeah, he just, yeah, that's 1974. He died." <laughs> wow. Like, oh, okay. And then my mom would, oh, I was just playing, baby. And you took it and you rolled with it. Yeah. You know. So I grew <laughs> still, up that him. made you a performer, I guess. Really, you man, watching that guy? Bro, I know? watch him rock crowds. Yeah. And to me, he's like the first. He's the first gangster because he's the first dude to walk into a club with an entourage. Yeah. You know, he rolled. Uh -huh. He was the first bling. Yeah, nobody, blinged out. nobody yeah. else had the bling. Yeah, he had yeah. the shades, the bling. He had a crew. They yeah. called themselves TCB, <laughs> taking care of business. Yeah. And that was their own little entourage, their own little Memphis mafia. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, TCB is like the first rapper <laughs> to me. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so I grew up on him. And then uh, as soon as I, I grew up in Hawthorne, so I'm a product of my environment. And I got into NWA, Rodney Ojo Cooley. I got into X Clan. Okay. Public Enemy, really militant hip hop, and then boom, Summer of '94, Souls of Mischief, Hieroglyphics. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. That's that's my era. Cool. cool. <laughs> Far side. Yeah. So, how long have you guys known each other? How long have you guys been working with each other? We've been working together for three years. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But have you guys always known each other? Three long years. Oh, three long years. Okay, okay. <laughs> word, word, word. Every day is a new adventure. So how long has the group SoundCloud been together, though? We've been together about two and, and a half. Two and a half. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Two and a half. 
I started as his DJ for a couple months. And then okay. I, <laughs> okay, DJ. I remember you was a DJ. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. 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 We had that in common. I'm yeah. a house, house yeah. music DJ. So. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, so y'all decided to just go ahead and just make it a group, huh? Well, yeah. He was. We, uh, we were on tour. Yep. And okay. uh, I was in the back seat, and I was, I was, I don't know, Ice Cube came on or something, and I knew every single word, and he was like, Is that uh, you? He's like, You sound kind of, you sound like, you know, you got some swag to you. I was like, yeah. Yeah. So he goes, Can you talk in different accents? I said, Yeah, like what? Do you remember downtown Julie Brown? Oh, yes, I do. And she's just talked like this, and like, Oh, Ronnie, stop that. Uh, you know, and so he's like, I want you to do a hook in this English accent. And so we got back to LA, and I did this hook for him. And, you know, every MC thinks that they're amazing, and they're really not. Yeah, Bow yeah, down yeah. to 1491 Nation. And he was like, oh, my God. So we did our first song called Get Tribal, and it just kind of like, he's like, man, this is, I think this is good good stuff. The he chemistry. Was, we played it for a couple people, and it just, people, like, loved our sound together. And, and we did two songs, three songs, four songs, eight songs. Shoot, we almost got an album. Okay. And then we, we rehearsed well. She's an actress. Yeah, I see. So, I see. She, she, she performed for us right on cue. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you give her the script, and you know, and if you, you know, you work in the concepts together. Yeah, it's like yeah. he's the director, and he says, All right, this song is this feeling. You're a spoiled brat, and you're going to, you know, this and that, or, or we're going to do, we're going to do this kind of song where you're, yeah. you're the rich, you know, blah, blah, blah girl. Okay. And then so every song has a different story to it. Okay. And then pretty soon we had an album and Actually, we're getting nominated and stuff. Yeah, and, wow, wow. That's, hey, it only helps if you have, you know what I'm saying, have you a thespian in the group, you know <laughs> what I'm saying? Uh, you should already put her skills on the play for us, uh, well, you know <laughs> what I'm saying? So, I have one more question too, yes. and, uh, and this is just my personal question. It's not even from the viewers, this is from me because, as you know, I grew up in Washington, D.C. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, you know... My team is the Redskins. Oh, yes. You yes. know what I mean? But they have been under a little bit of controversy <laughs> over the name. Yeah. And I really want you to educate yeah. me because I really don't know. Okay. Only thing I know is that that's the football team, and, you know, that's what I grew up on. But can yep. you educate me on what's so, really going first on First and foremost, the dope, one of the dopest teams on the planet. Oh, I, there you go. Okay, that's my man. Okay. Man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the players are fresh, but the franchise and the history is so shady. Okay. Like I wouldn't doubt it. Uh, you know, uh, Dan Snyder. Yeah. Is uh is on is on a whole other level. See the 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 history uh, of Redskins. Um, you used to be able to get two hundred bucks to take our scalp, and they called it a Redskin. That's the history of it. That's the There's history. There's documents of it. that say that. So it, this is the it's written. People ask. It's history. Uh, and another document you can find is uh, how they killed 39 Redskins and hung them. Like that's the way they talk about us as Redskins. And so it really is a derogatory. It is a derogatory, it's a derogatory term. term. Now, if you cheat the Chiefs, the Warriors. No, oh, we're Chiefs and we're Warriors. And but Redskins, it's like saying. Like, I've been seeing, like, the Caucasians. The Caucasians isn't a derogatory. If you're going to say... You know, if you, you'll say crackers. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I or love crackers. You know, mm -hmm. you know, cra you know for, you know, the, for example, the black community, if you had something like the black skins, that wouldn't last. That like would, hell no, yeah, you yeah. See, too, you're too proud of a people. You, you know, you got pride in your, in, in, in your, in, in your community, yeah. your blood. And that wouldn't last five minutes, man. Okay. So I don't know how this could last so long. It's 2014. And it's not the logo. That's a sick logo. The okay. mean, dope looking yeah, cheese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's just the, pretty much the name. The name Red the name, Skins, man. So I recommend Red Hawks. I'm okay. named after a chief, Red Cloud. Okay. You know, it could be, you know, whatever. That's know? very interesting. Warriors. Man, Washington like, Warriors. Yeah. Keep the same logo. Keep the same whatever. But the, the Redskins is, was, was the scalps that they took. Yeah, bro. Yeah. That. Wow. that was the red bottom part, yeah. Yeah, that's the red skin. See, yeah. I just learned something yeah. new today. Cause like, you know, like I said, only thing I only knew was that hey, that's just the football team. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? And I never knew that because this this came up within the past year or two, mm -hmm. pretty much. This whole controversy. Like, I've never heard anything about this being like something bad until two years ago. Right. Yeah. But that speaks to how much you know what I mean, like yeah. how they was able to get away with that there for yeah. this long. For so man? long, bro. It just it. It's a slap in the face, and it's a slap in the face that homie's like, I'm taking it to my grave, and once I die, my son's going to carry that name. We're never going to change it. 
And it's that white man telling us this. And it's like, yeah. especially in these days and age with yeah. Ferguson and all this stuff that's yeah, going on. Yeah, man. Like, uh, Have you guys been following the Ferguson thing? Absolutely. absolutely. That is, but, you know, and I've been refer like, you know, I mean, I have, I have all my social media, but I refrain kind of from speaking out until I calm all the way down and really think it all the way through because, you know, when you, anything you talk about politics or religion, that's a divisive topic. Exactly. And people that love you, people that, you man, you could be hanging out for years. Yeah. One, if you talk about those two things and they don't uh, agree, that can just yeah. automatically interrupt. Like, so I've kind of been chilling that, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's been real, it's, it's real bad, but it's, it's like, talk, this has been happening, this is not like, Something new, man. And I hope, like, maybe this time, instead of, like, destroying our community, let's do something that maybe that'll, like, you know, maybe stop this or bring awareness more exactly. instead of just the violent part. Which, I mean, you guys would know more than anybody else in this country. Like, if somebody's constantly attacking you Bro. and then going to tell you you're a... So you're bad or you're a savage for like defending yourself. Like what the fuck? That's the yeah. worst. You know what I mean? Ever, so the, and then this this thing with Ferguson is so evident because like all of a sudden like this is a 17 year old kid and now he's a thug and mm -hmm. he's a criminal. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, didn't yeah. shoot a kid. They oh, shot a yeah, criminal. Oh, they flip it so hard. They paint it. They've been painting this picture for for years and years. And and the in the 1820s this dude invented this term called I think drapentism, and that means. If a slave runs away from his master, he's considered insane to be. And they grow up and believe that. Shit. And that's the thing about it's it. That's really the. It's that's really the the the. I, I'm not gonna say hurtful, but just kind of the most frustrating thing is that these people really believe all these yeah, folk tale ass stories yeah. and like they're true and really will come out and like talk to you in your face like that and it's like mm -hmm. if you stand up for yourself they try to make you seem like you're an aggressive yeah right. fuck like you know what i mean you like you can't win it's well, i've you know, seen like, no, I, no this has been happening a lot i'm gonna just be honest yeah. like, I, did, I don't do a lot of media and watch that stuff because there's so much like badness in there but you gotta remember the Trayvon Martin and all that stuff oh, back in the days when, when that guy just mowed that kid down just shot him down so mm -hmm. now we're back it got fun it got fun raising yeah, it, it got, got fun and you could have got away with it right. now we're, <laughs> yeah, and that's why we're having <laughs> more of it come up because more yeah. of it is just we can walk away and get yeah. him I'm pretty sure that man something's gonna happen where you get away and if and that, that man walks away it's game over and, yeah and you know what that is too if that happens that's just that's proof. That, that's, 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 that's proof right there. That fear but it's been actually, proof, though. It's just that it's, it's been just, proof. So, it's just that they not pay, no consequence for it. It's just they, like, oh well. I think the, I think the the government and society has dug themselves in a hole because now we have a voice as natives. Yeah. You have a voice as African Americans. Yeah. We have cameras now. They yeah. can't be doing this shit no yeah, more. Bro. The whole man. world is seeing it, and it's all over my Facebook feed. And it is no denying uh, a racial profiling. There's mm -hmm. no denying police brutality that these dudes are taking the trust. Yeah. You have the, the the people's trust in your hands, and you're destroying that. Yeah. Like that dude did not deserve. No matter what you say, yeah. whether he took whether, whether he stole the cigars, yeah. whether he stole yeah, they didn't the even know that. They, they uh, just dug that up afterwards to try to like you know make. But I mean, let's say he stole the fucking cash register. Yeah, still he did yeah. not deserve. Six bullets. Yeah, two in, in the back. dome, too. Two in the dome. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the like, cigars and all that stuff kept behind where the cigarettes are. But look, the, the, the you know that video they put out about <laughs> the little kid? The owner of the store came out and said he didn't steal nothing. Yeah. <laughs> they came and said that it. Video and they still, like, that's pushing that video. Like, no, that's no, not even him. No. But He's bad. Look how bad. They were just jumping at the, at the chance to justify homie's death. Yeah. So bad. That the moment that video came out, I just saw so much racism. Obviously. Yeah, and, and like I said, that goes back. That's why oh. I'm kind of been, you know, I'm I'm in a position where I, you know, I kind of have stuff to lose right now. Mm -hmm. and, and and of course you want to stand up for yourself, but you can't be dumb. Yeah. No. You know what I mean? And I and like I said, you talk about pol politics and religion. That's divisive. Yeah. You right. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And that's why I kind of want to just wait and so I can articulate it clearly. That's not offensive to anybody. Right. Because. Yeah, that's right. You know, when we talk about this stuff, not like not all of white America is racist. Absolutely. You know what I mean? No, no, no. And it's just like any anything to anybody's culture of race, like the few any little bad thing of the few do, like everybody get blamed for it. And I get it. But like Come on, no, no, it's, it's a little kind of crazy, a little too lopsided. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I think yeah. I just want I just don't want to 
I don't want to say anything that's gonna, you know what I mean? Because I'm, I'm for everybody. I'm a very international guy myself. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I just want to let it be known. First of all, I just say rest in peace to to the guy, and, and and I hope his family gets through it. That's you it, know man. what I mean? But I I just want to. You know, hold my tongue and not say nothing stupid, you know what I mean? And I do believe, too, if you really, like you said, if you're going to speak on something that you're passionate about, you better know everything You have to, it. yes, because, you have to articulate correctly yeah. and know your stuff. Yeah. Because, like, you, it's proof, like, they'll come at you if you don't know. Exactly. Yeah. They'll because try to justify I, something. This bucket challenge, like... That was about to be my next question. What know, the hell, what's that? Like, I see everybody dumping water on their hand, but ain't nobody, I don't know how many people like donating bread, though. The positives <laughs> you know are, what I'm right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The positives are, yes. You know what? It has raised millions of dollars for these celebrities doing the ice bucket water challenge. Yeah. But if you look at how many people are doing it on social media now, and that seven dollars in ice that you're buying at Seven Eleven and just pouring on the right. Ground. That's what I'm saying. You, you can know, be there's, donating there's, it. There's a grandma in in on the reservation or wherever that has to suck water out of a tube because you're just wasting, yeah. and they're laughing about it, and it's so funny, Little and kids it's in Africa. oh, I'm so yeah. freezing. Dump water on me. Like it's just like yeah. that's not the point. Yeah. The point is, do you even know what the point is? Yeah, that's what I mean. Do that's why I ask people like, what is ALS? Because you know I don't even yeah. know everything. So I ask like, do you, like what's the actual cause about? Right. The, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's like nothing against you. Everybody who's done it. Yeah, right. of course. Yeah, I'm, we're not nothing negative at no, all. No, nothing. We're and not, we've not been challenged <laughs> five times, and we won't take it because of this reason. Like yeah. we'd rather give money because that's what's gonna. That's what's gonna really. Charlie Sheen. He did it the best. What does he do? He gets a bucket. Yeah. He picks it up. Money. He pours it over his head. What comes out? Money. Cash <laughs> money. He goes. Ice is it gonna? I, I think yeah. you can help these, but these yeah. people, you know, it's But, well, you know, it's a fad, and it just show you, like, how fast. You, how you can brainwash people so easy, like, hey, look, everybody do this. This is the new trend. Yeah, yeah. Everybody do it. People do it. Yeah. People do it, yeah. You know what I mean? And, and and working on TV for the past two years, I really see, like... How much of an influence. Wow. Like, everything yeah. I've ever grown up thinking was real. It's not... Yeah. <laughs> Well, hey, have you guys seen uh, the fire challenge? Oh no! No, so I've seen that. People, don't tell me that's fake. Yeah, no, that's a real thing. Oh, so it is real. Yeah. So people are setting themselves on fire because someone said it's cool on the internet, on Instagram. Standing in the bathtub, <laughs> oh, they set God. themselves on fire and then they uh, rinse themselves off. But people are getting yeah are broken off. Just the ice challenge. The... They're getting broken off. Man, have you seen the buckets fall on their heads? That girl that had the little, little, little baby. baby. Oh man, <laughs> she almost that got dust. Somebody had a baby that got like yeah. Uh, uh, I'm talking uh, about one of those girl. buckets you put drinks in, bro, at a at a club. Um, one of those tubs, and it fell on her head. And Someone dude. was above on the balcony, and she's like, "Oh, I'm doing this ice water challenge," and they're they're about to pour it over, and this little five year old girl yeah. comes. Oh, oh what are you doing? Yeah, and they. The whole water. She was tub, trying to tip it over, but she drops the whole the thing. Whole, I'm talking about the whole. The water didn't. No water the came. The water out. was still in the bucket. The water came down <laughs> on the little girl, on the homegirl. Oh, I didn't see any heat on the baby, but yeah, it went blank after that. Yeah. You guys need to take it easy. Gosh darn no it! Don't need that ten dollars you're spending yeah. on yeah. ice. Yeah. Don't need like that. Bucket. And it's yeah. a drought. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you know that we're gonna be in a drought? Yeah. So you throw water to Africa. Send that water to Africa. Yeah. Donate uh, some water to Africa. I'm doing the donate to water to Africa yeah, challenge. Yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> donate some water to Africa. Take yourself going to the post office and putting the envelope in. Exactly. The there you go. There you, know? you go. Film your That's Instagram your uh, donation in the envelope. Yeah, somewhere. there you go. Yeah. Yep. There Just put go. a bunch of ice in a big bag, and then eventually <laughs> it'll be the water and donate it. <laughs> All right, cool. So one more time before we get out of here, tell the people where they can meet you on social media. Uh, well, Instagram for me is crystal underscore lightning. My name is spelled differently. Uh, Twitter is sweet lightning. But if you want, you can just hashtag lightning cloud and you can find both of us. Yep, just hashtag lightning cloud. MC we'll, Red Cloud. Yep, we'll pop up and mm -hmm. we'll show you what's up. We have a Facebook page under lightning cloud and that's where we post all our videos, our up and coming shows, our photos, and all the stuff that's cracking with us. Yep. Cool, cool. Yeah. So introduce this new video you guys. It's called Burn It Down. I'm gonna tell you. Yeah, it's beach. <laughs> Burn it down. Yeah, Herb over there, over there, the baller spot over there. Yeah. <laughs> you heard it first, man. It is a new video from Lightning Cow. Burn it down. Lightning Cloud, bitch. I think I smell fire. I'm